All right, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, I'm gonna show you guys a couple tools that you can use for your audio editing. So the first one is of course, the volume sliders on the left, because I wanna mention this topic since there are multiple ways to lower the volume so that you guys can avoid clipping. So the first method is actually the method I wouldn't recommend, and that is dragging the gain down or the opacity to minus six decibels. Now that's the issue where if you're gonna do a lot of cutting, it's on minus 6.1 decibel, the bad thing is that if you're going to start trimming and cutting into your song right here in your timeline, the bad thing is that if you're doing things quick, you can accidentally, for example, like drag this guy down without you even noticing it. So that is going to be a lot softer than this part, which is at 6.1. And this one is, as you can see, at 8.7. So I wouldn't really recommend doing it this way. So the best tool for that is just to keep the opacity all the way up, even though it's clipping right now in the top right corner. If I hit playback going in the red like really really bad and we want to avoid that at all times so the best tool is to actually drag this guy to the left this volume slider because you don't want to touch this one on the very right since this is the master volume so if you're going to drag this one down you will also drag down the volume of all the other clips so let's say that you have a riser in your own song and that one has to be louder than for example the top track if you're going to lower the output fader this way everything in your entire project will be lowered so i would just keep this one on the standard setting and i would just drag this guy to the bottom until it says six decibel minus all right so now that we have put this one on 6.1 decibels if i play this back it won't be clipping anymore and it will stay in the green even though we have the opacity right here all the way up As you can see right now, this is what we want, of course. We want to have everything in the green. So that's the first tool, and that's really, really important that you don't mess up like the opacity when you're cutting into your timeline. Oh, and also guys, if you would like to license the song that I'm using in the background, I'll just turn up the volume for you guys quite a bit. If you like that song, you want to license it for just a fraction of the price of what like these major labels would charge you, make sure to check out the link down in the description, and you can also just go ahead and license many other songs just like this one. So make sure you do that right after the video. All right, so the second tool I would actually recommend to keep things organized is going to the project media tab on the very left, since all our files that we have in our project are listed in here. So let's say that you need, for example, another sound effect, but you can't seem to find it in your timeline. If you go to the project media tab, you can just find everything that you have in your project in this window. It is really, really simple if you want to drag new effects onto your timeline or onto your track and and it's just one of the best features that doesn't necessarily only count for video. All right, so the next tool I'm gonna recommend you guys is this button on the very left, which says maximize track height. So if I click on there, this will be a lot more visible. So we can actually get rid of the video preview screen as we're editing music. This is basically the maximized track size that we can put our song in. So let's say that you need to zoom into a really, really specific part this is actually how you do it because let's say if, if I'm going to be honest with you, if I'm going to put this one right here, it's just going to be way, way too small and thin to look on it. And of course, if we hit the maximize track height, we are way, way bigger in the screen and we can actually optimize our recording. We can just take out certain audio waves, as you can see right here. You can just drag that to the left and to the right and work way, way more precisely. All right, so the last tool I'm going to show you guys is the ability to mute and solo certain tracks. So so let's say that you're editing this one and you're done with it, but you want to have like different sound effects into your actual timeline. What you can do is you can actually mute this track. So let's duplicate it and I'm just going to show you what it does. So right now, this is actually playing like really, really soft if I'm going to play them both sides. So what we can do is we can hit this red M icon that says mute. So if you click on there, this track will be muted. And now we will only hear this track and all the remaining tracks that we have right here as well. As you can see, it's playing really, really soft in the background. And that is how you can mute tracks and you can also solo them. So let's say that you're focusing on a certain effect. You can just solo the track by clicking on this yellow S icon and then it's going to mute all the other tracks. It's not going to remove anything. It is just going to mute them so you can focus on one track only. These are a couple tools guys in order to edit your audio in Vegas Pro 18 and there's nothing more to it.
All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for the continued support. If you want to also see more tutorials about audio editing in Premiere Pro, whether it's Audition, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Get your licensed tracks, of course, on the Licked website. The link is down below. And we'll see you guys, of course, in the next video.